are really excited. Catch us early, jumping up and down because we're getting ready for Mother's Day with a custom gift that will make any woman feel pampered. And showing us how to make that custom gift is Orly and the woman who inspired her, basically not just the DIY, her entire career. Yes, yes. Ray! Ray. 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 Glad to be back. This is so wonderful that you're excited this to have your so, mom here. It's the best to have her here because this whole thing, this whole part of my life only exists because of her. This is something that, you know, when I was growing up, not only did we do stuff like this all the time, really in real life making yeah. clothes, she made all our prom dresses, we got to design whatever we wanted because she could make it, but my grandmother is the ultimate, I mean, she's an ultimate. incredible artist. Oh there she goodness. is laying down. Oh. That's my mom, Desiree. my aunt, and my sister. You are so and cool. she is an artist, she makes the costumes in the column theater, and so it all really just, it was a family affair. You know, I always used to say, whatever you learn, right, you just never, nothing goes to waste. Doesn't matter what you teach, Everything that you learn, you, it never goes to waste. But what, how Orly teaches it, that's what I love, because she makes it so simple yep. where it's not scary. It's you true. know, people can just go, God, I can do that. And that's right. the thing, when, she, when I watch her episodes, I'm like, I didn't even know that. Aww. I didn't even think of that. So really, it's, that's the thing I think it's the most important, because I you don't sit there and be afraid it. of it. It's just, Aww. I could do that. Anyone could do the that. The master that's has become the student. It, it, well, seriously. Yes, we will, we seriously. will see. We yeah. will see. <laughs> all right, ladies. Okay, so you're going to show us it. how to make this yeah, no okay. sew kimono in right. no time at all, by the exactly. way. Exactly. Right. Okay, so this is our fabric. I bought two yards of fabric for both of the ones that we're wearing. This is what two yards will get. And you okay. want to fold it face to face. So you can see inside there, that's the right side of our fabric. So fold it in half, face to face. This right here is the width of our fabric, okay. right, across the top. So now you're gonna fold it again. One more time in half, oops, sorry. One more time in half. So once width-wise and once length -wise. So you have four panels now there. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Okay. So now when you lay it down, if you can get a, if you have a rotary cutter, I recommend like it just because, yeah, it just makes so it happen cool. so much faster. Lay it down on your cutting mat with the cut side in front of you and the folded side away from you. Don't worry about the hem. Yeah. Mom, we just have to worry more about the top right, right now. Okay. okay, so lay everything out. We're just gonna straighten this for yeah. just a moment. There we go. Okay, once everything is straight, this part's important. You really wanna take your time making it straight. Okay. You can use some pins. If it's, a, you know, when it's really flimsy a lot of times, it's hard to get straight. So just yeah. pin the salvage and then pin double it up go. and pin it so then it'll stay easier. You don't have to like exactly. fight it so Exactly, much. Okay. and so you can do that just like this, right? You just pin it together. Okay, so the first measurement we wanna do is the sleeve. So both of our sleeves here are the same, 12 inches long. If this looks Is that right, standard for kimono? Not necessarily, okay. it felt right to me. Okay. If you want it to be wider, a more exaggerated, drapey sleeve, this is the measurement that you would increase. Okay. Okay, so first take your ruler and we'll put it from the top. And will you put a pin, Mom, like right around 12? And remember your, your seam allowance. Even when you're using fabric glue, there's still seam allowance because you're eating up a little bit with the fabric glue. Sure. Now the next measurement you wanna consider is the measurement that is gonna go up and down here, all along this line. And what that is, is mom, yeah, will you open? Mm -hmm. So see, this is our sleeve width. Here's our length. The longer that distance is, the more narrow the body gets. Okay. The wider it is, the wider the body gets. So if you look here where my ruler is, if I decide I'm gonna scoot in all the way, this is my body right here, and it's gonna get more and more narrow. Cause look at, I'm eating away from it. Look how small All it's right, getting. Okay. So what I did was around 14 inches, felt right to me. You okay. can just look at a garment in your closet. And another thing to think about is like, if you wanna use a belt like how I have it, you need to make it big enough so that it would belt, otherwise it would just stay like apart. Right? Oh, yes. so correct. Have okay. enough so that you can do this and even like overlap. Who's slow, who's so slowly. grab a cardigan, right. maybe your husband's shirt, something exactly. that is kind of wide. Even okay. a robe, something that has that okay. thing. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I've got my measurement on 14 and I see where my measurement was at my 12. I'm gonna take my rotary and I'm just going to that is very satisfying. It's highly this satisfying. Sound is even good. <laughs> yeah, it's incredible. Now I'm going to come here. I'm going to put my rotary right on the edge where I was because I cut into my point, and I am going to cut up. Oh, that sound! You're right, Desiree. Right. Okay. Especially okay. when you have nice. And now your neat corners. Clothes. Sometimes yeah. this happens because you just don't want to overshoot it. So if you need to, yeah, mom, would you yeah. mm -hmm. grab? You can just use your regular scissors to cut anything open that didn't actually get cut, and that's right. Totally. Oh, wait, you know what? I actually have a couple here. Oh, no. Oh, no, I'm good. There you okay. go. I thought I had more. Yeah, we just cut straight down there, Mom. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay, so look, you can already see it folded in half. And it looks like this a kimono. This is the shape of the kimono in half. So now that's what we sleeve, do. That's the That's the body. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You take that okay. side, Mom. Let's lay it down. Right. So right here, I'm just going to cut the slightest curve. 
right in that center corner, and when it's folded, you're guaranteed to be even. Now, I'm noticing the difference in fabrics between Desiree's and your own. Yeah. Does the type of fabric, will it change the construction of the kimono? Yeah, a little bit, because what you'll notice is that it's just the ease of whether you can leave things raw or not. So like, mom, will you show the center front of yours, yeah. how, how perfectly clean it was able to cut? So, oh, so she doesn't even have to, we don't have nothing. to glue that right. at all. Nothing. Exactly. Okay. So it's Meant so easy. Like so you just mm -hmm. want to try to think of a fabric that you'll be able to cut clean. Because right. when you're using, when you're doing no sew, you just want to eliminate as much as you can. Okay. All right, so now I'm going to cut up the center while you guys glue. Okay. So for right now, I'm going to eyeball it, although I would recommend that you guys measure it. You want me to do the, um, yeah, the, the sleeve, sleeve first? That bottom part of the sleeve. And just get as far as you can, because obviously, everyone watching right now, you get the idea at this point you're seaming it closed. If you know how to sew, you sew this part closed. If you don't, then you don't. Would okay, this fray so the front. at all? So this is the thing. On fabrics that will fray, you the majority of it's gonna be hidden on the inside, the seams on the inside, okay. right? So it's not like the biggest. It's not that big of a deal. It's not that big of a deal, but you want okay. to be buying fabrics that are gonna cut clean if possible, okay. because that's just one less step to do. Okay. So this is where we're at. I'm gonna leave this right here. I mean, that's pretty simple. Already right? we have the entire, all we have to do is just finish this. Yeah, even there you can see, right? This is the front, okay. everything gets closed. All now right, let's now move over to this it? one. Okay, here I have this pinned. The front part that came in like this, right, it came in, I folded it in. So here it is. See that part was like this. Okay, right. So you just fold it in, and right here you can just add a little the bit glue. of fabric glue. That's it. Yeah. You know, can I suggest, suggest a little something? Yeah. It, we can just do the fabric glue, but if you really do want it clean, if you double fold this and iron it this way and now glue it, then you definitely don't have any fraying. Yeah. Oh, so nice well. The student so, does not become no. the master. The master is still the still, master, still it the appears. Master. Yes, that's actually a really, really great tip. If you have a fabric that frays, yeah, then fold it, iron it, and press it before you do that hem. That way when you fold it, everything's beautifully clean finished on the inside. But really, it's just that fabric. Fold it in half, L shape, L shape and cut up and the center. The same thing on the hem. And yeah. how sweet is that? Them. You're making a custom kimono right. for for all those wonderful people yeah. in your life. Those wonderful mothers for Mother's Day. I love this. Now, what one last question, question before we go. And Desiree, I want to hear what you have yeah. to say. I know fabric glue can be washed, yeah. but does it eventually need to be re like, enforced because the fabric yeah. glue will come off? Yeah. So if you're going to machine wash something a lot, then I would uh, first I would always try to hand wash if you can. But over time, wash after wash after wash, you are going to get little gaps that open up. So you can either add more glue, or one thing I always love to say is once you've made it, bring it to your dry cleaner and just ask them to reinforce all the stitches. Why with not? their sewing machine, it'll take them two seconds. You still have made it. Right. You can still be exactly. like, I made this, but you just had it reinforced, so you don't have to worry about it. But it is machine washable, just, you know. This over was time. wonderful. How'd that feel, Desiree? Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Thank you so much for asking me to be here. You guys look so beautiful. Oh,